Hi, it's Children's Librarian Janet here, and like you, I am at home. Or am I? Well, no, really, I am at home, just like you. But I'm experimenting with green screen apps. These apps allow you to substitute in any background you want. The apps I used were Green Screen Wizard for still photos and Green Screen by Doing for still photos and videos. You may already have Green Screen on your iPad from school. Both of those apps are very inexpensive but if you don't want to pay at all, there are some free apps for green screen out there. All you need are one of the apps I mentioned, a tablet or a phone, and something green for a background. Some creativity, wanderlust, and a whole lot of cabin fever will help too. You should be able to set up your green screen project with items you have lying around the house. For example, I made a tripod for my iPad with, what else? A toilet paper tube. It took me a little while to find just the right green background. I had to do some trial and error. You might have to experiment with a lot of different backgrounds, and you might be surprised at how many green things you have in your house. I tried a couple green jackets. That one didn't work at all. This one worked a little bit better. I tried a green-ish blanket and had some interesting results. I tried a sequin background. That was pretty cool, but not quite right. Finally, I settled on a really simple solution, green construction paper. I taped it to a bookcase. Just make sure you don't wear anything green or you might look like you have a floating head. Once you have your green backdrop, then you need to find some background photos. Think about where you would like to go and you can use your photos or you can use photos you find online. Some apps like Green Screen Wizard come with their own photos. And then set up your green screen studio. You can go back to school, you can go back to work, you can even take that spring break vacation you didn't get to go on. Where will you go today? in your living room. We'd love to see what you think of, so please post your photos in the comments or send them to the Wilmette Library. Bon voyage!